everyone and welcome to another week of Trailer Thursdays. First show I'm going to talk to you guys about today is called Neighbors starring Zac Efron, Rose Byrne, and Seth Rogen. And Zac Efron in this movie plays a frat boy who is living next door to um, the couple that is Seth Rogen and Rose Byrne. This is a comedy of epic proportions, I think. I'm actually looking forward to seeing this. I'm very hesitant when it comes to comedies. You guys know why. I've already said it before um, in several other uh, either movie reviews or Trailer Thursday videos. But, I mean, this movie actually looks pretty funny. Um, I love to see Zac Efron sort of stepping it up in his career. Um, he's got like a couple movies coming out. He's done a lot of movies and he's already got enough on his plate. So I'm really looking forward to seeing this movie for him. I'm not a huge fan of his, but I like the direction that he's going with these type of movies and his range wise so um looking forward to that i already know what to expect from seth rogan and rose byrne i know they've been in comedies uh like bridesmaids and seth rogan you he's been in a lot of things so i'm looking forward to seeing this movie i think it looks pretty hilarious obviously i can relate because i know all about uh greek life and all that stuff so i just think it looks really funny i especially like to point out the whole um Robert De Niro sort of like skit going on here. I think that was just absolutely hilarious. I would love to see Zac Efron uh, sort of furthering his career by sort of going off of like what Robert De Niro has done um, and sort of like go like follow in his footsteps sort of like um, that. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of Neighbors and if you're looking forward to seeing it. For the second trailer of the day, it is for All is Bright, starring Paul Rudd and Paul Giamatti. So the Paul duo are in this movie that it's kind of a drama, so it seems, and I'm not really sure if I want to see this. I mean, I think it'll be cool, I mean, because uh, I always love seeing anything Paul Giamatti's in. I think he's pretty awesome as an actor. Paul Rudd's pretty cool too, even though I normally see him in a lot of funny movies. And this one, you know, sort of like tones it down a bit. I think that it looks pretty interesting, so who knows if I'm going to be able to see it. And I'm just basically going to be watching it for the acting. Um, and the story seems pretty interesting as well, and hopefully there's going to be something good that comes out of uh, whatever some of the characters are struggling with. So definitely looking forward to that. For the third and final trailer of the day, it is for something completely crazy out of this whole bunch. It is called Dark Touch, which is an IFC film, and um, it's kind of like got this like sort of horror thing going on. There's this little girl um, who basically has experienced like death in her family, a lot of creepy things have happened, but apparently it wasn't the person that did the killing. It was supposedly something else that, you know, was not human. So this really brings back some of the old, uh, some of the other horror movies I've seen, uh, you know, way back when. Like, okay, this definitely reminds me of Orphan, Amityville Horror, uh, the one that I actually most recently saw that I actually enjoyed, surprisingly, was Village of the Damned. There's a scene in here that totally, like, just all the kids coming together, being really creepy people. Um, so, I hope it's going to be sort of on par with that. It's got a little bit of possession meets the conjuring. So, I'm really looking forward to seeing this and seeing, like, how many, like, different elements of horror, like, even past horror films, uh, can be combined in this movie. I really like IFC films a lot. I try to uh, keep on the lookout for those. I think those are actually really impressive to watch at times. So I'm looking forward to seeing this movie. If I get a chance, I will definitely review it for you guys. You know how much I love horror. Looking forward to seeing this and uh, all of its creepiness. Seriously, when I was watching this trailer, I had to watch this a couple times because it was just absolutely terrifying. First time I like jumped, I was like just freaking out second time it was awesome let me know in the comments what you guys thought of dark touch and which trailer out of these three are you most looking forward to seeing if any and as always you guys can subscribe to my channel if you want more movie reviews movie updates 
Come and get broke for each other Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, and I will see you guys.